Now, I see Elgar as essentially a deeply individ individuated and traditional artist who is subjective, emotional, sweet-tempered, slightly melancholic, very, very English, and concerned primarily with the transcendence. But there are also great moments of joy and that martial patriotism that the English have, and which is a sort of pageantry. I've always been struck by elements of English nationalism within the British context and how they differentiated from how the more Celtic parts of the British people, such as the Irish, the Scottish and the Welsh, evince their own national feeling. There is in English a slight softening or understatement of a more radical position and the need emotionally to express a radical feeling of patriotism and self-regard by using perhaps slightly softer tones and terms. And this is why, in plain comparison to very militant expressions of national feeling, English people can stand to attention to things with sort of tears in their eyes and tears streaming down their faces and with extreme emotion and sometimes very held in violence as well that relates to these type of emotional forms that touch them very, very deeply and very much at the heart. It's that sort of belief that uh, you can do an extraordinary thing but you don't really necessarily want to be praised too much for it, at least in public afterwards. It's that slight diffidence in the expression of that which otherwise would be radical, which characterizes partly the depth of Elgar's music, partly the fact that it's a certain English sensibility unmasked, and there are certain cultural criticisms of the English viewed outside in, but see ourselves, see English people, as in part wearing a mask. Elgar's music is the emotional expressiveness of the English people unrepressed and without a mask, with deep sonority, relating to private and yet personal experience of a general and generic character. It is also expressive of the European civilization in high art music, but it is totally concentrated in the sensibility of these islands.